Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this series of video, we will be discussing about the important question bank set 3 for 21 EC 53 computer networks module 4. Come let's go into the video. First question, categorize the send and receive window in TCP. So in TCP, we have send and receive window where it has been followed by different protocols like selective repeat, simple protocol, go back end protocol. So each of the protocol was following the send and receive window. So here in send and receive window, this is send window and this is receive window. One thing you have to observe is in send and receive window, the data that has been transferred will be opened and closed and the window will be shrinked according to the data that is sent and received at the either of the sides. So you will have first outstanding window which is represented by SF and the next byte of data that has to be sent SN. So SF and SN will, will be the one which is deciding which has to be sent next and which has been in the queue to send to the receive window. So here in receive window, these are the data that has been sent and these are the data that has been received from the sender. So these are the queue, these are the data that has been sent by the sender. So these two diagram you have to draw and explain in detail. Moving on to the next question. Explain flow control and TCP with example. So this is the diagram for flow control where you can see a sender and a receiver. You can see the numberings 1, 2, 3, 4, yes. So here first the message will be pushed from the application layer and then the, the transport layer, the segments, it will be divided into different segments, TCP segments and those segments will be pushed to the next transport layer in the receiver side and then the messages are pulled by the application layer in the receiver and then there is a feedback flow control that has been provided to the sender to ensure that there is no segments available in the transport layer, no error occurs. To check that this feedback will be provided. So you have to draw this diagram and this is a basic example how the flow control is happening from one end to the another. How synchronization acknowledgement is being sent by the sender and the receiver. Moving on to the next question, infer the reliability using error control in TCP. So error control, how it is reliable in TCP is it provides checksum with zeros and ones it checks whether there is any error in the sent bit or not. And then it follows acknowledgement where acknowledgement is divided into two that is your cumulative acknowledgement and selective acknowledgement. So cumulative acknowledgement is cumulatively you will be keep on checking and selective acknowledgement is randomly it is acknowledged and it follows retransmission. So retransmission after RTU, retransmission after three duplicate acknowledgement. So here it is nothing but if suppose if any bits of data or segments of data that are sent from the sender is not received by the receiver, then after three duplicate acknowledgement, it can, it can retransmit that the sender can retransmit the data to the server again. And out of order segments is when you keep on sending bytes of data, segment 1, segment 2, segment 3. But segment 1 is received at this server and segment 2 is not received but segment 3 will be received. That is out of order segments. So it also clears the out of order segments. This is the reliability of error control in TCP. Next question, apply congestion deduction process in TCP with example. So here congestion deduction, how you will, uh, you deduct that is there is a congestion in the transmission line. So your one is timeout and receiving three duplicate acknowledgement. So if suppose the segments of data is missed and three duplicate acknowledgement is being received, then it is obvious that there is a congestion occurring because of that the data is lost. Timeout. So May, uh, say, uh, say suppose segment 1 from the sender is sent with 10 milliseconds it has to reach the server but it has timeout it is more than 10 milliseconds then you call it as timeout and consider that there is a congestion deduction happening. Next question explain the congestion avoidance in TCP with example. So congestion avoidance is 
done by additive increase additive increase is exponential increases there additive increases there here i am just explaining one example with additive increase so here you can see that this is the window so here the client is sending the window where i is equal to 4 now four data uh, bytes of data will be sent and then acknowledgement will be received back and then additive increase is now i will be plus 1 So four plus one, five data will be sent. Then plus two, plus three, plus five, like that. It will increment till the all the data is being sent. This is additive increase. Exponential increase is nothing but if suppose i is equal to four, then here four to the power of n, four to the power of so four to the power of n is four to the power of one, four to the power of two, four to the power of three. It exponentially increases the bytes of data from the client to the server so with this diagram you will be explaining the additive increase and also exponential increase for congestion avoidance hope you have understood small small tips for the important questions for the exam please be stay tuned for more information thank you